Yo, is this Doc Dumpster? Hey, what's going on, Daisy? Daisy, Daisy, what's going on, my dog? What up, Doc? How you doing? Uh, listen, I've got to tell you, but I've been listening to the show, and uh, now, first of all, I got completely screwed. I ended up after freaking Power Man, who's already broken down the perfect game. Yeah. Um, I, I was kind of hoping Power Man would call about seven hours later. Uh, <laughs> but but how about I, I, dude? How about a lot of good calls tonight? How about Scoot and Newton coming in play? Yeah, he was awesome, right? And, and uh, Auburn alumni right before you did an awesome job. Dude, Auburn alumni was freaking cash money. I'm talking. I mean, I mean just incredible. Uh, how's everything going tonight, brother? Well, we're drinking the uh, Old Forester Prohibition style tonight, 115 proof, so uh, i got to be careful. But other Whoa. than that, it's been great. Whoa, hello. Uh, I, you know what? If you don't mind, I'm drinking a little what I like to call easy teasy. <laughs> um, you walk into an ABC store, take a shovel, drive down about two floors, and get you some early times for about $7.89 a half gallon. <laughs> I've had early times. I've had Kentucky gentlemen too at about the same price range, and uh, it's it's delicious. Hey, have you ever uh, you, you ever had Kentucky Tavern? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love old Kentucky Tavern. But uh, anyway, um, I'm dog sitting tonight. I'm at my cousin's tonight. I got he's got two Pickanies, and I've got my Doberman and my pit bull, and we're all just sitting here on the couch watching football, having a good old time. Hey, uh, so what are your thoughts at this point about Bo Nix? Are you ready to uh, to give up on him? I think Bo Nix. Now, now, let's talk. Let's talk current. Let's not talk future. Okay. Yeah. I think Bo Nix is absolutely. Excuse me. In terms of passing the football. Yeah. I think he's absolutely terrible. Okay. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I was, you know, Gus is Gus, and I picked us to win this game, and I felt like we should have won this game. I think LSU is very overrated. Uh, but Gus made a comment after the game that he pulled. Caleb Kim because of a bad snap. Mm -hmm. That that slaughters me. Okay, just because I could show Gus 780 frames of film where Bo Nick sucks, and uh, it just kills me to watch this offense. Power Man said it best. I mean, that, the the defense tonight that may be the best defensive performance I've seen from Auburn ever in terms of what they had to go against. I mean, I mean they're on the field every single play. Uh, yeah, and uh, it, it is just embarrassing to see our op. I mean, I I've been on this show probably four or five times. Okay, I think we've all I've said this every time. Can we complete a forward pass? I remember going to Texas A&M telling you, hey, if we can complete a forward pass. Well, you know, we're eight games in. Bo Nix cannot complete a forward pass. He he is he would lose a game of horse to many pearls. Okay, he he, he <laughs> he's just terrible. At accuracy, okay. I know. But Gus doesn't change it, and uh, it, it it just it slaughters me. And it it'll be very interesting with this team, the chemistry, because the defense obviously knows that the offense sucks, okay. And it will seniorly now. Somebody said we were young. We're we're not young. We got yeah. tons of freaking juniors and seniors. Tons. Um, but it will be interesting to see the seniors are going to have to hold this team together. Um, because the game we gave away today was just, I mean, we, we, if we have Vanderbilt's offense, we win that game. Okay. Um, if we have Montevallo's offense, we win that game. In my opinion, <laughs> it, it was that, it, it, it was that, um, it, it was just that terrible when DJ Williams went out of bounds. Yeah. I bet you money. I bet you money. JG Tate, there were 10,000 text groups that said, he just cost us four points. Yeah, field goal coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, LSU had They're their own problems in the red zone. They they have they have a hard time running the ball, too, but you're not an LSU guy. You're an Auburn guy, and they suck today running yeah. the ball in the red zone. They can't they can't do anything in the red zone. Well, I, I, well now listen, it, it goes way beyond the red zone. Red zone's inside the 20. What I would say is our offense sucks inside the 100. And listen, this isn't just tonight. Okay, I mean, this is go back to Florida game. Go back to you know, everybody's like, well, Bo against Texas A&M, but Bo threw for ninety nine yards against Texas A&M. Okay, so I'm just saying, I cannot believe that Gus Malzahn would say, well, I pulled, I pulled Anthony Kim, uh, you went a bad snap. <laughs> we, this one, I, I'm not saying Anthony Kim's great, but I think a lot of bunker members are targeting the offensive line, and they say it's terrible. But which you know, when I, I watch, dude, I've watched eight thousand films on us. Um, 
our offensive line, I don't think is terrible. I don't think they're good. But let's just say they're bad, okay? Let me put it this way. Very simple terms. If you took the names off the jerseys, took all the names off our jerseys, okay, and you paid a consultant from Hong Kong, from California, from Kansas, from North Dakota, from Georgia, to watch our, uh, watch our game films, okay, and tell me what's going on, every one of them would check the box that our quarterback sucks. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I don't care what your name is. Our quarterback cannot freaking complete a forward pass. But do you feel uh, like do you feel well, like Joey would have been able to do that? Could Joey have done better? Well, but, no, no, no. But, but I'm with you. I think Joey deserves a shot. I do too. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, if, if, if you throw for 40 yards and a half, I mean, you know, uh, I'm just saying that it's so funny to me. And I, I was in a text group tonight, and uh, people say that Nick's got the job because Joey couldn't pass. Okay. That freaking is whole Nick can't pass. Okay, so and listen, I I think Nick is tough as hell. I, I like him. Um, I'm not saying he's not going to be good. Now I'm also not. You know, I was like, well, the softball is going to be better. We, but then he's going to have to freaking complete a pass. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to be accurate. Yeah. But I'm saying, why not try Joey Gatewood? This is eight games in. Our offense has sucked all year. We just scored 20 points against a team that is going to that, that against good teams is going to give up 30 to 35. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and so my Gus thing, I'm not saying you fired Gus, but I'm saying I'm really questioning Gus in the situation, what he said about pulling Caleb Kent. Okay. So he's trying to get to the fan base. You know, the fan base is saying, play another quarter. I don't care if it's Cord Sandberg. Just try somebody, for God's sake. He's uh, he's the de facto oh, team dad, oh. by the way. Do what? Cord Sandberg's the de facto team dad, by the way. No, no, no. Dude, I don't care if you play the team granddad. I don't, I don't care if you play Aunt May and Millie, your fucking sister. They're going to complete more passes than Bo Nix right now. Yeah. Uh, that's, just, that's just my opinion. And I, I, I like Nix. I'm going to say, Gus is killing it. Gus is leaving him in the game. So about, uh, let's just say, uh, five weeks ago, 15% of the fan base may have questioned Nix. Well, right now, you got 75, 85% of the fan base. Fan base question. Okay? Yeah. Let him sit. Get him out. Play, play somebody else to get, you know, he, he just cannot complete a forward pass. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, but I, but I, I thought I was glad to see DJ Williams play good. He it did. Was just a game, that was a game we should have won. Okay. Uh, you said it right in your pregame. You said they need 65 plays. They had 90 plays. Um, you know, that's, the, that's just a game that, that, that we should have won. And I think Gus is, um, Stubbornness. We talk about stubbornness all the time so, because he's going to leave Bo Nix in the whole game. Stubbornness, I think, cost us a ball game because the defense played as good as I've ever seen an Auburn defense play, especially under those conditions. It's championship defense. I believe it totally. Yeah, and I, I, I hey, you know, we're going to be playing, and you know, and I will say this: watch the Ole Miss game because Ole Miss, I think, can score. Okay, I, if, if if Gus continues what he's doing with these same plays and. You know, it'll be very interesting. I know now you guys were right about the Arkansas game. I was wrong. Okay, I was actually wrong about this game. I picked us to win, but Me too. Uh, I'm just saying we got to score points, and this offense can't score. It is that it is that freaking bad. I mean, like I said, give us Belmont's basketball team and put them in pads. Okay, yeah. we win this game. We win this freaking game. Yeah, some of the folks on the chat knew you're going to be uh, coming pretty strong on your opinions, and you certainly did that. Uh, hey, I want to give you full well, credit, just, Doc. Though yeah, you, you lost your bet last week, and you spoke in the are you typed in the King's English, Queen's English this year, I should say. And uh, <laughs> well, it, was, hey, it was listen, tough. Hey, I had a ton of help. People, I do want to address the people on the bunker. Hey, dude, I had like eight or nine guys helping me. Obviously, you know me, Tate. You know that I'm you know, my. I, I don't want to tell you my SAT or ACT scores, but I mean, believe me, they're lower. Than, I mean, your daughter quadrupled me every score she's ever got. <laughs> uh, but but I'm just saying, I, you know, I, that's who I is. I'm, I'm just not very smart, and I thank the guys that helped me. Cook won the bet. I honored the bet. And, and let me say about Cookie. Cookie, the bet was supposed to be a week. Okay, Cookie was a good job. We did a good job. He said he said I know it's going to kill you to not post Saturday. He said, hey, uh, I'm going to let you post Friday. So, Cookie, uh, look, look, big, big shout out to Cookie there. Yeah. Yeah, he did a hell of a job just giving you a chance to kind of jump back in because we, we all miss it when you're not, you know, yourself. 
so to speak. Well, let me tell you something. I, I love the bunker. But there, there's nothing. I will say this, and uh, luckily, because my aunt is rich, I'm members of about five, uh, 57 sites, maybe 56. Yeah. Have you heard about my site where I'm the uh, 81-year-old uh, three-time divorce lady? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Dude, I ended up getting drunk about a month ago, and I ended up turning into some 81-year-old lady named Brenda on this uh, over-75 divorce site, okay? Well, yeah. I didn't think it was any big deal. I didn't think it was any big deal until I was getting these DMs where women were asking me for advice. And um, I just I just love it. Now, I can't do it now. i got to wait till I get drunk. It's about 2 in the morning. But uh, but uh, but anyway, the, the, I appreciate Auburn Sports staff. Uh, you guys do a good job. Uh, Tate, thanks for all you do. We'll get better. We just we just need a quarterback. Doc, I appreciate you being on part of the show, bro. Thanks, brother. See you, bro. Good, bud.